today we're gonna remove the passenger side sway bar Lincoln on this 2012 Mazda 3. It is not necessary to take off the wheel, but I took it off just so I can have better access to it. First, we're gonna start off with a size 14 millimeter socket, and we'll remove this nut from here. I am using a impact gun, which makes life that much easy. For this bottom one here, I will be using a ratchet and a size 14 millimeter socket, and I'll break this loose. And I was actually tightening it. <laughs> we'll loosen this up. Remove that nut from there and just thread it off. Then the whole sway bar link is ready to come off. There it is. And there we have it. Reason we're replacing this because it has a lot of floppiness to it. it. Needs to be replaced already. Replacing the driver's side, might as well replace the passenger side. If one goes, the other one's bound to go. Sweet. Make sure you stay tuned of how to install the replacement sway bar link on this 2012 Mazda 3. This video is just how to remove it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.